Okay, rationalizing the denominator, the topic uh, of that just means in math, you're really not supposed to have roots on the bottom. Just like how I have said in the past, something like this is just a weird math way of writing stuff. I would just make it negative three quarters instead of a negative four on the bottom. Okay, so that's just kind of a math rule about writing stuff. This would be the same thing. <clears throat> math doesn't really like you writing a square root on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of it. So here we go. So what I'm gonna do to get rid of a root three is I'm gonna times it by a root three. But what do you do if you do something to the bottom? You do that to the top. So this would become 7 root 3, and then what is root 3, root 3? Three? Just 3, because it's root 9 turning into a 3, or you can think about it as a root 3 squared, which turns into a whole number 3. Okay, so the next one, so I want to get rid of a radical on the bottom. So I look at the bottom, so there's a root 2, so I'm going to times it by root 2. If I do that to the bottom, then I do that to the top. So I get 8 root 10. And then again here, what's root 2, root 2? Just 2. Okay. But on this test that we're going to have, that is not a final answer. Why? Is there something I can do further? I can reduce that, right? I'm going to ask for the simple, simplified everything, so I can simplify that. 8 divided by 2. Okay, a very common mistake is that People try to divide the root 10 by 2. That's not a thing. Because why? That's a radical and that's a whole. Can we mix radicals and wholes together? Never. Okay. The next one. I see... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just rewriting this because I have other stuff going on there. Okay, so I see a root 5 on the bottom. So I'm going to get rid of it by times in the bottom by root 5. But I do the same thing to the top. So I get a root 15. And then here you have a 4. And then what's root 5, root 5? Five, and then this is a whole number four, and now this is a whole number five. So there, therefore I have a 20 on the bottom. Do you see how I got to that spot? The root five, root five is five, but then I still can times it by the four yet. That's it. Please don't think you can reduce that. You can't because this is a radical and this is a whole number, so you cannot do anything to mix them. Okay, so those three, I'm going to call them singlets, okay, because there was just one radical on the bottom. Now, do you see how this is a little bit different? I have two things going on on the bottom. Okay, so here's the process. If you have a binomial, you are going to times by the, this fancy word we learned a little bit yesterday, conjugate. Do you remember that word? So what did it mean? What did conjugate mean again? The same except for the sign, yeah. Same except for the sign. So that would look like this. The same except for the sign. That's a conjugate. But if you do that to the bottom, you also do that to the top. Okay, 
on the top, I'm going to need to do this work. I'm going to have to distribute, distribute. So go ahead. On the bottom, I have a binomial binomial. That always creates a foil. <clears throat> but what did I say yesterday about conjugates? You can cheat a little. Get rid of the OI, because they will cancel. Look, looking at it right now, I can see this being negative root 20, and this is positive root 20. So those would go away like that. So when you have a conjugate, you can just flip and cheat. OK, so first times first, what is root 10 root 10? root 100, so then it is just whole number 10. This sign will always be minus, always with conjugates, because 1 is plus and 1 is minus. What's last? What's root 2, root 2? Whole number 2, because it's a root 4, right? I'm also just going to double check my roots here. Root 70, can you see it dividing by 4, 9, 16, 25, 36? No. No. All right, last one of these. So I see some radicals in the bottom. I want to get rid of them. So I'm going to times it by, and I need you to write what the conjugate of that would be. Conjugate. And if you do that to the bottom, you need to do that to the top. Okay, so this top is going to be an entire foil. Sorry, you're going to have to do all four parts. But the conjugate, you can do the cheat flow. Okay, so I need you to foil out the top. Okay, so I have my top done, so if you want to pause and look at the top when you're done your top, to see if you did it right. Okay, are you ready for this bottom? Okay, so if I look at the first first, there's in the front a two and a two. So that would make four. Then I go to the radical radical. So radical five, radical five makes a whole number five. So I'm gonna have to do a four times a five. Do you see those components? Minus, always minus. Okay, so looking in the front, this has a three and a three in the front. So now I'm gonna have a nine in the front and then root two root two makes whole number two.
And I would simplify if this all divided by 2, but then this one would have 3 divided by 2, which is a fraction anyway, so I guess I can just leave it. But if all these front numbers would have divided by 2, I would have simplified it more. <coughs>